All right, well, I think I got the mast ready to be varnished. I've gone through and re-sanded it. And got it cleaned. I'm gonna paint this top section just because it had a little bit more wear and a little bit more cracking and I wanted to fill in all these old holes. So I've got some bungs in there. And I also need to paint it in order to protect this epoxy. I had to pour this thickened epoxy on there so that the new mast headpiece uh, would fit good. And the rest I'm just gonna use CTOL. So, this was actually one of the first projects I did when I bought the boat. So I pretty much had no idea what the hell I was doing. And I just didn't do a very good job when I built these. Uh, they're way too heavy. I didn't do a very good job bonding it. This is all just bonded down onto some plywood, so... The seams, I was trying to mimic kind of the teak decking look and some of the seams I uh, didn't do a very good job on and so looks like some of these are delaminating yeah I don't think those are worth trying to salvage so this is the new design uh, it's all this is just half inch marine grade plywood and then I've got some little strips on the sides and I've given it like a little lip so that it hangs down past uh, past the locker so it shuts down better. Then underneath it's just, these are just some little furring strips to make it stand up to give me the right height. And then this is just a 3 8 plywood. And I just tacked all this together with a small nail gun. I'm going to come back and add some fillets all in here and uh, seal this up really well. And then the top will get a layer of fiberglass over the whole thing so it's not going to be as cool looking as the as the teak but it'll be a lot more practical and work better so these are pretty much ready to be glassed up I think
Alright, so right now I'm working on sanding the bottom. And I've got this side sanded. And uh, about to start on this side. A few moments later. So we've got the rudder ready to go for bottom paint. We've got three coats of uh, barrier coat on there. And it's actually like ready. You're supposed to be able to put your thumb on it and it leave your thumbprint without getting paint on your hand. So I think we're ready to go for the bottom paint. And same thing with the hull. We went around and uh, covered up all the little patches we did. So yeah, we're ready to paint the bottom. side to side, you're only touching a little bit of the hole at a time. All right, so we've got two coats of bottom paint on now and the only thing left that I have to do is paint underneath these uh, stands so I was able to just uh, take one bolt off on the bottom because these I couldn't just lower enough I didn't have enough room uh, to just lower the the nut so I was able to just take a bolt off the bottom just lay it back out of the way so I just need to sand that and then get a couple coats of paint under there and I think I can do two at a time, so like I'll do these two in the middle, then I think I can take off these back two, and then, you know, put them back up, do the front two. We've got a lot done in the last few weeks. I haven't really done a very good job of uh, filming all of it and talking about all of it, just because we've been kind of in a rush. But we finished the paint on the top sides. We have three coats on there now and it's pretty nice and glossy got it to lay out pretty well and then we got the bootstripe on I need to probably add another coat to that because that's just one coat right now but got the little um, cove stripe and accents painted they turned out really good so I also got this uh, zinc installed and I uh, made a backing pad on the inside and then I have some bronze um, basically just like all thread that I put through and sealed that up really good and now I can should be able to remove this and put a new one on easily and then also bond stuff to the top side pretty easily and the rudder is done I think looks a lot better now that it's a solid color that's for sure and I've got these locker lids cleaned up. Uh, I just need to do some fairing and then we'll be able to paint these. And we're ready to install the rub rail now. We got it fitted and I've gone around and gave it a nice radius on both sides and made all the cuts I needed to. Mast is finished now. You just need to keep adding the hardware back in. I've got this old track back in place. Looks pretty cool. And then I'm also working on painting this top part. I just need to do one more coat. Then we can install the masthead fitting. Alright, well we 
we got the tow rail on the starboard side. Ran out of caulking, so we're going to have to wait uh, to do the port side. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Looks pretty good. And now I'm working on getting the um, deck hardware installed. So I've gone around and marked everything. This is where the winches go. I've drilled those to be oversized and then filled them with the epoxy and then I'll come back and re-drill them to protect the core. Same thing back here. This is where the traveler goes across. And those are just some, uh, some cleats. And then these are just going to be the bases for uh, some of my hardware. Some of the cleats, these are going to be the two uh, aft cleats. And then the winches are going to sit on these because for them to line up with the old holes that are in the combings, um, I need to space them up a little bit because the teak deck used to have them sitting up higher. So I made these little teak uh, kind of little spacer pieces. And these have been uh, coated in epoxy. And once those are cured, I'll just do some varnish on top of those. All right, so we just got the port side rub rail on. And I've painted under these two back stands. I just gotta pull these front two down and um, get those painted. Then the bottom paint will be pretty much done. And then now I'm working on uh, these locker lids and I've fared them and sanded them down and I think I'm ready to go ahead and put some primer on them so I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit and paint them alright so we've got everything taped off and prepped for the non-skid so we practiced on these uh, locker lids it turned out pretty good. This is going to be us after applying Kiwi Grid. We got the non-skid down. I think it turned out good. It's definitely a little tricky getting the consistency to be the same when you're using just like a, a brush like we did. But I think it looks pretty good. Definitely looks like a different boat now. So we also got our rigging uh, back. We took it to our friend uh, Reagan, the company he works for, a rigging place in Kima, and they we had them uh, swage the fittings and stuff for us. So all of our rigging's done now. This is the head stay. It's a little bit beefier than the other stuff, but yeah, we're ready to go. The mast is pretty much ready to go up, so. And uh, for those of you who want a more in-depth look at uh, how to apply the Kiwi Grip, um, a guy that I follow, some of you probably follow him as well, his, uh, his channel is called Adam, uh, Adam Voyager, and his name's James. He's basically like a sailboat refit guru type of guy, but um, he just posted a really good video on how to apply this stuff, Kiwi Grip, and it's really inform informative and in-depth, so... I'll put a link down in the description for you guys to check his stuff out if you haven't already. 
he does tons of really awesome sailboat refit type stuff so check him out and that's pretty much going to be it for this video um, I think it's going to be our last video not in the water so it's pretty exciting times we still have a lot left to do but um, I think we're going to try to launch in the next week or so but yeah just a lot of little stuff now I think most of the like really big jobs are done all right well that's going to be it for this video guys uh, as always thanks for watching and uh, remember to give us a like and feel free to comment down below and uh, yeah hopefully we'll see you on the water next episode thanks for watching